everyone thanks for tuning in hope you're having a great day so you can see my hair is wet i just got out of the shower i wanted to pop right in front of the camera and do a quick get ready with me video i'm about to go out soon with friends and um i wanted to do a look using my um bh cosmetics 120 palette this is, this is the first edition um i really like this palette in the sense that it gives a whole variety of colors from shimmer to matte and um, it's all the colors underneath the rainbow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just going to wing it out and talk through it too. So I already applied a primer on my face using Benefit's Professional. I applied it in the middle of my face and just blend it outwards, just covering the pores and imperfections on my face. And yeah, so I'm going to put my foundation on. I'm using Mary Kay Timewise. Um, matte foundation in the shade Beige 8. I'm using my Real Techniques brush. I'm going to start in the middle of my face, pat it out, and then just start blending. This foundation is very lightweight and a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> so you see the concealer underneath my eyes. Um, my camera kind of turned off for a second. I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Medium. It's like one of those lipstick tube concealers. I'm just going to pat it underneath my eyes with my ring finger. Seal underneath. Um, not underneath my eyes, I already concealed underneath my eyes to conceal um, darkness and the acne spots. You can see um, issues of a pimple popper, a very bad habit that I definitely need a break, trust me. I'm just going to apply Makeup Forever Full Cover um, Concealer in the shade number 8. I love using this concealer even by itself, and it really does a good job in hiding my acne scars. And it really lasts all day. Okay, so I'm going to set everything, set um, the, the concealer um, underneath my eyes and everything else around my face. I'm just going to use the Mary Kay Translucent Powder. Um, I already took it out of the jar, but it's a big jar like this. I just applied it into the pan and I'm just using an angle brush just to pat underneath. For my brows, um, I'm just going to fill them in, make them look a little fuller. I'm using the CK1 Brow um, brow and Gel Duo, and this is in the shade Raven, um, Crafty Raven. This is like my all-time, I've been using this for forever, brow pencil. So I'm just going to start in the arch, fill it in at the tail, and then just work my way inwards. And I'm just using white strokes just to fill it in, nothing too crazy. So for my eyes, I want to start off with a cream shadow from Mary Kay. It's in the color Iced Cocoa. It's a very nice gold color. You can see right here. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush um, to apply it all over the eyelid. This is the shading brush, which I, I use this brush a lot whenever I apply a cream shadow. So I'm just going to start in the middle and just get it all over the lid. Next, using my BH Cosmetics 120 palette, first edition, I'm going to pick up this color right here. And using the same Real Techniques brush, I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Next, I'm going to pick up this brown color right here towards the middle of the palette. And using a crease brush, I'm going to lightly apply it into the crease to blend out the color. Next, for a highlight color, I'm just going to pick up, I'm going to mix these two colors right here. It's like a golden, it's not white, but it's like a yellow. It just comes off too light in the, color, in the camera. It's white, it's a yellow, and this is like a gold color. And I'm just going to mix the two using my, um, the brush that I used to apply the translucent powder and apply it right underneath the brow bone. I'm going to pick up this color right here and I'm just going to apply it into the middle of my lids just to make the color pop out even more. I'm 
Then I'm just going to use a flat shadow brush, um, something like this. You can see it's just pretty much flat. And I'm just going to go back to that first color that we used um, right here in the palette. I'm just going to apply it right along my lower lash line. So now for my eyeliner, I'm going to tight line. Well, my hair is starting to get dry now. You can see how long it's taking me to get this done. I'm going to tight line my eyes using Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in the color Demolition. It is a matte brown. And I really like this color because it just blends well into my lashes where at this point I don't even have to use eyeliner. So I'm just going to tight line and bring the color as close as possible to my lashes. And I'm going to use the same pencil just to apply underneath my lower lash line. I'm not going to bring it all the way, I'm just going to leave it in the outer third. I'm going to pick up this color right here. It's like a muted, like ugly looking yellow. I actually ended up using that as the highlight underneath my brows because these two colors really weren't like popping out. But I'm going to use this actually as a, just to highlight the inner corner of my lids so that can really pop out. So I already curled my lashes and I'm going to apply a few coats of the Makeup Forever Aqua Smoky Lash Mascara. This is the bit pretty baby version, um, but this, I'll show you what the wand the, looks like. It's pretty same like for every standard mascara. Um, very like thick in application, um, but it really is a good mascara in terms of separating the lashes and really giving it like volume and defining it. So I have very short lashes, like this is actually a really good mascara for me. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. I'm going to contour my face using my NARS bronzer in the shade Casino. Yes, Casino. And I'm using my um, Makeup Forever 150 angled brush. Next for blush, I'm actually using a new product. This is from NARS. It's their multiple. Um, I've heard great things about their multiples, and this is in the color Maui. Um, since I'm really in such a love for cream shadows right now, I knew I had to get my hands on one of these multiples. So I'm going to, this is what the color looks like. I'm just going to apply it right on my cheekbone and use my um, foundation brush from Real Techniques to blend it out. Ooh, hello. It already looks pretty. Well, duh, it does. Okay, so apply it on my cheeks. I'm just going to smile and do number eight with this brush and blend the color out. Finally reaching the lips. I'm just going to line my lips with Soar um, Lip Pencil from MAC. It's pretty natural, pretty close to my lip color. And then for the lipstick, I'm applying a new lipstick I got from Ilia. Really cute packaging and this is in the color bang bang so this is my final look you can see it took me a while my hair is already dry um, but this is definitely a really great get ready to go out right now which I'm going to be leaving soon and again the color the items that I use I use the BH Cosmetics 120 first edition eyeshadow palette um, very like cranberry fallish colors and for my cheeks, I used the multiple from NARS. I really like how it comes off of my face where it's just not too like heavy pink, um, but more of just like as if I'd been outside. And then the lips, just pretty. Like the color Bang Bang makes it look like it's more of a red, coral, like deep coral color. But on my lips, it just... I don't know what it's what it what to call it. It's just actually really pretty. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. The items I use, I will list them down below in the description box, so you guys can go check that out. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did enjoy watching this, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will leave the subscription button like up here. Yeah, I'll leave it up here or here, wherever these two. Again, I hope you guys like this video, and if you did, thanks for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later.